school started yesterday and the runner sports calendar is published for fall and we see in the background the Roseman Roadrunner football team practicing we're going to go in and take a look Well, Coach, uh, Caribbean, how is the Roadrunner season shaping up for 2017? Shaping up real good. I mean, like I was just saying, we got 22 guys and some extras as well, so we're able to get a full 22 on the field, offense versus defense, without having to fill in holes with coaches or managers and stuff like we had in the past. So definitely excited about that, uh, getting a lot of guys' repetitions. So we got about 28 right now uh, when everyone's healthy, which is good. When's the first um, game? Uh, we scrimmage next Friday, the 18th at Bull Run, um, and then the first game of the season is the 25th at Bull Run. Okay, all right. And then 14-game uh, season, 10? It's the season for 14, but uh, I mean, we're guaranteed 10. We're hoping to play through Thanksgiving and in December. Um, like I told these guys, if my wife's mad at me on Thanksgiving Day, it's a good season because we're <laughs> practicing Christmas. to get the season rolling. True, true, true. Well, that's good. And uh, anybody shaping up to be the powerhouse uh, this year? Kern Valley, I, mean, I know he's always tough. Kern Valley's tough. Bishop's tough. I mean, heck, our league is pretty tough from top to bottom. So, uh -huh. um, you know, really, we don't want to undersell anyone because it could be anyone's year. From since I've been here, it was Kern Valley a couple years, then Bishop, then Cal City. And, you know, so we're hoping it's our turn in the rotation, but true. we definitely got to work hard to get there. So. Uh-huh. Well, we've got to get uh, a football icon up on the scoreboard over here. We, that's right. That's right. Yeah. I mean, we had <laughs> soccer last year, baseball or I'm sorry, softball almost got one. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we're excited. You know, we've, we've gotten there before. We just haven't been able to finish. So we're really looking for this year to, you know, hopefully be that year. But good, it starts good. right now here on August or uh, August 9th to, to get things right. Uh-huh. Now you're going to have a JV team? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, they're down there right now and they're short a few guys. I looked at their roster earlier. I think they're at 26 right now, so long as everyone's there. So, uh -huh. so good. good numbers on the JV level. We do expect a couple more now that school started, but not a whole lot more. I mean, we're, sure. our season's pretty much in full tilt. It's our first day in full pads. So, uh -huh. uh, so you know, the, the, the time to be here is already two, you know, two right. weeks ago. So <laughs> so we're excited just to move forward and, and have these guys out here. Good staff, good kids, good sure. support from the administration. So, well, best so of good. luck for the season. And as you know, we'll keep checking up as, as we go along and wish you the very best of luck and the boys. Hope they pull it together for their year. That's right. That's right. It's been a long time coming for these guys. Uh, you know, my first year it was just hard to get the bodies out, and then second year when Coach Shank and his brother came along, this is uh, those freshmen have started from not winning a single game to having the expectation to play that 14 game season, and it's uh -huh. not just a false expectation; it's a real thing. Uh, so yeah, we're excited. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Shanks bring some horsepower. Absolutely. The yeah, they've, they've been the best thing to happen to this program in a long time. Uh -huh. So we're excited about that and the culmination of it all that happened this year. We're really excited about. You betcha. That. You betcha. Well, best of luck again. Appreciate it. You bet. All right.